We looked at RateMyProfessors.com to determine the professors you should pass on and the ones you shouldn't pass up at San Diego State University. Below average, Gary Grudnitsky. We're not sure what accounts for this accounting professor's apathy towards his students, but they claim that it's hard to receive a passable grade when tests are made impossibly hard just for the sake of it. Introverts won't appreciate how participation points are factored into final grades, and group quizzes are sure to infuriate the independent study holic. Paul Sutton. Someone should put this criminal justice teacher behind bars for being less than personable towards his students. They say his personality couldn't be more off-putting with tinges of sarcasm and egomania. His lectures have no flow, making them hard to follow and even more challenging to take notes on. If that's not a combination for poor test scores, then what is? Tunk Gavesi. Answer this. What's the sum of mumbled lectures that stretch too long, incredibly hard tests, and a complete lack of clarity? One poor grade from a professor who just can't seem to deliver his material in a way that makes sense to the committed, number-crunching learner. All of the required textbooks are ones that he wrote, meaning that he often takes for granted what he's teaching from them during lecture halls. Exceptional. Mark Lawmakis. There are good professors, and then there are truly inspirational professors that make you want to burst at the seams with interesting facts you can't stop thinking about. He keeps his sometimes dense lectures afloat with lighthearted humor and even supplements them with virtual lectures that can be watched on your own time. How neat. Best of all, his multiple choice tests are straightforward and lifted straight from the reading material. William Naricho. Budding novelists or undergraduates in need of a writing course agree on one thing. This English professor is the man to learn all about the artistry of language form. He carefully curates each syllabus to include a wide variety of literature that will appeal to students while pushing them outside of their comfort zone. Even those who consider themselves non-readers say they just couldn't put down his texts or wait to discuss them during lecture. Day Elliott. This sociology professor is more than willing to be your mentor, but an overwhelming reason why students enjoy her seems to be because she values independence just as much. This is balanced out with plenty of group project work so that pupils receive a combination of learning approaches to understand the admittedly challenging material from a variety of angles. So for more tips and tricks on colleges and universities, check out our website.